So use the shortcut Shift plus or minus to cycle through the blending modes. Boom. So let's be honest, you only actually use a handful of fonts. Under your fonts, you can select this little star and then use this star filter to just see the bangers. CC Lens is an effect you probably don't use enough. It's perfect as an easy transition or to create a trippy orb or just to add a subtle bit of distortion to the edges of frame to create an extra dynamic. So you can select all your keyframes, hold Alt and drag your keyframes closer together or further apart, making it easier to fine tune your timing with no need to move the keyframes individually. Any solid can be an adjustment layer, simply select this toggle and this will help me keep my amount of solids in a project to a minimum. It turns out that adjustment layers were solids all along, we've been lied to and someone must pay. When creating titles, I'll often use the tiniest amount of blur just so it doesn't look too crisp and digital. You've brought in a vector logo, but when you scale it up, it looks trash. So you're going to select the continuously rasterized toggle, this one here, and scale it up infinitely without losing resolution. Shortcut speed round. U will reveal all keyframes, EE will reveal all expressions, and LL will show you the waveform. Use Command Shift D to split a layer into two parts at the current time indicator. I use this all the time, especially instead of duplicating a text layer or creating a new one. If you really want to save time in After Effects though, I have a couple of digital products that are in the description below. So save yourself some time, look pro, have a bit of fun. So your After Effects is suddenly RAM previewing much slower. Try this, go to edit, Purge, all memory and disk cache. Disk cache. If your hard drive isn't huge, you might wanna do this a few times a day. Now I often need a proportionally correct circle with a correctly centered anchor point. The way I do that is I hold shift while I double click on the shape tool. And you can do the same with a rectangle as well to get a one by one shape. That might not seem that important to you, but I have an unnatural hatred of ovals, so. AE can actually do math for you. So you can use plus, minus, the star for multiply or the slash for divide. Often I might try a few options for an asset on the timeline and instead of deleting something and dragging in a new file, I simply select the layer and then holding Alt, I drag the new file on top of it and it's now replaced, which works best if the files are the same size. I really like to keep my projects clean. One thing I'll do when I'm confident I've used all the assets I need to is go to File, Dependencies, Remove Unused Footage. Now every still, video, file, solid that I'm not using is gone, leaving me feeling at peace with the world. Now, rather than re-timing your layers manually when creating a montage or stop motion sequence, simply select all your layers. You hit Option, close brackets, and then right click, Keyframe Assistant, and sequence layers. Let's all get better together. Share your favorite hacks in the comments below. My layout always has the align panel visible. You can center a layer to the comp or evenly distribute a bunch of layers in relation to one another. I love me some precision. So you've animated your text in and you wanna animate it out exactly the same way that it came in. So you duplicate your keyframes and with them selected, right click, choose keyframe assistant, and then time reverse keyframes. Now forget resizing layers by using scale or dragging them out. Right click, transform, fit to comp. To not mess with the original aspect ratio of the layer, use fit to width or fit to height instead. And no, we didn't really talk about expressions or the graph editor. So if you really wanna level up your After Effects game, you're gonna have to watch this next video. I love you, Jesus loves you.